never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Straightening the curves, flattening the hills. Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Making their way. That's just a little bit old in the noble allow Just a good old boy Wouldn't change if they could Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood For those of you who just blinked what you missed was a pretty regular event here in Hazard Town. That there's the General Lee, driven by Bo and Luke Duke. If you looked up the phrase Breeze Lightning in the dictionary, chances are there'd be a picture of the old general himself. The boys just won the Capital City Speedway race. They're headed back home to make room for the latest trophy. And this here's Hazard County's finest, Sheriff Roscoe P. Cole. Finest, in the loosest sense of the word. When I catch you, Dukes, you're gonna spend your jail time waxing my patrol car. <laughs> That's right, two coats of wax. Hold on, Flash, Daddy's gonna get them Dukes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Looks like Enos decided to join today's parade. As Roscoe's right-hand man, Enos Strait gives hope to anyone trying to make a fast getaway from Hazard's law. I'm sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> Enos, you dipstick. Pass him on a gun, but Sheriff. I sure hope I didn't put you in too right of a mood. Oh, you love nut. The only mood I'm in is one for catching them Duke boys. We just won us a major race. We got Hazard's finest chasing us, and my head's still doing donuts over the size of this here trophy. What do you think, cuz? First place, Uncle Jesse. Not too bad, huh? Never any doubt in my mind that you boys could do it. I guess I should set a couple extra places at the table. Sounds like Roscoe and Enos have worked up quite an appetite. Mr. Duke, that was the best breakfast I've ever had. Well, hello there. Howdy, miss. Boys, this here's Melanie Shaw. She's with the geology people up at the State University. They're on a the field trip here in Hazard looking for... I got you now. Enish, cuff them Duke boys and stop them for speeding and reckless driving. Roscoe, show some manners. We got company. I do, ma'am. Hey, Daisy. <laughs> hey, everybody. No one told me we're having a party this early. Welcome back, boys. Well, hi. Hi there. I'm Daisy. Daisy Duke. Melanie Shaw. Say, have we met before? No, I don't think so. I was just telling the boys here that Melanie is with the State University on a geology field trip here in Hazard. Yes, we're doing a survey for possible petroleum-based pockets under Hazard County. Petroleum-based? You mean oil? It's really just a part of a routine study we're conducting here in Hazard. Oil on Uncle Jesse's farm? Well, if that don't beat all. Hold on there a minute. Like Miss Shaw said, it's too early to say. And that goes for you too, Roscoe. Say, this geology stuff sounds fun. You need any help? I am a whiz when it comes to rocks. Yeah, well, you can break the big rocks into little ones at the state pen. Enish! I sure am sorry about this, fellas. Congratulate you on your trophy. Mighty pretty. Well, here you go, Enish. Why don't you hold it for us for a second? Sure, Bo. Oh! Enos, watch what you're... Enos! Sure was nice meeting you, Miss Shaw.
Daisy, why don't you give Melanie here a tour of Hazard? Oh, that would be great. I do have to meet my associates downtown later, though. That's no problem at all. I'll be happy to drop you off. Now, are you sure we haven't met before? I'm sure. Lost sheep to Bo Peep, lost sheep to Bo Peep. You out there, Daisy? Go ahead, Bo. We need a favor. Okay, what is it? We're over here at Miss Tisdale's, and her motorcycle broke down, and Cooter's having some trouble with the replacement parts. She could sure use some help with the mail. Let me just guess. She doesn't want to ride with y'all, does she? I'm a hop and a skip from there, so I'll see you in a little bit, Bo. These are my assistants, Johnny Robb and Billy Ben. This is Daisy Duke. She was nice enough to give me a tour. Now, I don't know about you, but if this is what a geologist looks like, I'd hate to be a rock. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thanks again, Daisy. Nice meeting you, miss. You don't think she recognized us, do you? Not at all. Don't you worry. By the time we're out of here, Daisy Duke will be spending the next few years in a jail cell, along with those cousins of hers, and we'll be rich. Let's go. Breaker one, breaker one. I'd be crazy, but I ain't done crazy. Cooter coming at you. Hey, lost sheep, you got your ears on. Reading you loud and clear, Cooter. Well, I'm out here at Miss Tisdale's working on her motorcycle, and I'm missing some parts, and I'm pretty sure they're on my workbench back at the garage. Crazy Cooter to Bo Peep. Daisy, you out there? I read you loud and clear, Cooter. Look, before you run off, drop by the garage. I got a little surprise for you. Now, if that ain't a sight for sore eyes. Cooter! Oh, the Roadrunner! Well, I've been working on it, getting replacement parts here and there for a right good while now. Thought it'd be a nice... Fourth of July surprise. Oh, Cooter, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to drive it over to the boar's nest right now. Good. I can do that engine work on Dixie then. Roscoe and Enos never could maneuver a bend in a road. Field. Wouldn't you just know it? A Samaritan. Now, whether it's a good kind or a bad kind is anyone's guess. <coughs> All on the Duke's farm? Now, anyone with half sense would know that the possibility of oil on Uncle Jesse's farm was about as rare as a 500-pound possum. Roscoe, get this little lady a chair. Miss Shaw, I believe we should talk business. You know, I own the mortgage on the Duke's farm. I had a feeling, what with you being the most powerful and influential man here in Hazard County, I'd be willing to help you get what you want, if you'd be willing to do something for me. And what's that? Well, I heard that you might know where the Mean Green Machine is located. Did she say Mean Green Machine? The Mean Green Machine? Uh, never heard of it. Uh, have you, Roscoe? Well, of course I have, you... Uh, I mean, no, nope, no, never heard of it. Boss, I thought we were becoming friends here. I just wanted to see the infamous Mean Green Machine. I've heard so much about it and how you were the genius behind it. All it took was for Melanie batting her baby blues and flattering Boss Hog a little more, and... Of course, you'll prove for certain there really is oil on Uncle Jesse's farm. Uh, not that I don't believe a pretty little thing like you. With the 4th of July race approaching, the boys and Cooter wanted to give the general a test run on the track of the Hazard County Fair. The Mean Green Machine. Looks like Boss Hogs had a little work done. 
For those of you who don't remember the last couple of times old Boss Hogg unleashed this thing on Hazard County, just remember this. The last one to head for the hills is a rotten egg. You and your friends are more than welcome to inspect the insides. But first, I'd like to know a little more about the oil in Uncle Jesse's field. I've drawn a rough map to show you the exact location. Go see for yourself. Oh, the mean green machine! Uh-huh. I saw that, too. With that little toy, you boys could clear out any bank or gold reserve this side of the Mississippi. Or level an entire county, like Hazard. Robbing banks and reserves the only reason I signed on for this in the first place. How sweet. Here we were planning to go find Daisy and snatch her up, and she was kind enough to come right to us. I know you. It's about time. I was worried you'd have me pegged at your uncle's place. Missy Law! But you should be... In jail? Oh, we'll have time to talk about that later. Right now, I have to make you pay for ruining my life. You know, people used to say she and I could have been twins. What do you think? Some things never change. Oh, they're gonna change in a big way. Starting with Daisy Duke going to jail for bank robbery. Tie her up. I'll be back in a little while. Whoa! What's Daisy in such a hurry for? Something's wrong. Let's catch up. Something's wrong. All right. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, fellas, but since Sheriff Roscoe and I was chasing y'all this morning for speeding... Daisy robbed the bank? I don't believe it. And arrest those two boys, too. They were probably eating and abetting somehow. Yes, sir, Sheriff. This is Deputy Enos Strait. Over and out. Gee whiz. I just can't believe Daisy would rob a bank. You know better than that, Enos. Daisy'd never rob a bank. Not even if she was forced at gunpoint. We've got to find her. Well, I'm sorry, boys. Sheriff Roscoe said I had to arrest y'all. We'll get all this sorted out. Until then, y'all have to go to jail. Wait a minute. Venus, we ain't got time to get arrested. We're going to find Daisy. Hey, I think those are the Roadrunner's tracks. And it looks like they're headed towards Boggy Swamp. Let's check it out. I'd sure like to find Daisy before Roscoe and Enos do. Rise and shine. I don't know what you're up to, but you're not getting away with it, Missy. Daisy, honey, I've already gotten away with it. Boys, Miss Daisy Duke is a wanted bank robber. It's them Duke boys. So long, Daisy. Good seeing you. If I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. While Ennis swam to shore, Roscoe was positively tickled that he had caught the Dukes. Normally, I'd give Daisy and the boys about five minutes to wrangle themselves out of this predicament. But with Daisy being framed and Missy in control of the mean green machine, it might take a little while longer. You kids all right? We're fine, Uncle Jesse. I mean, aside from being in this cell. 
Well, don't you worry none. I'll have you out of there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. All right, J.D., how much? Oh, I'm afraid bail won't be set until after the 4th of July. You see, the circuit judge won't be here until after the holiday. But don't you dukes worry none. You can get out on the 5th of July. What? Well, Mr. Race. You know you could set that bail right now, J.D. Jesse, it's my responsibility to respect the circuit judge's responsibility. Roscoe, help me get this money back to the board. I, I, I mean, uh, uh, help me get this back to the bank. And once we drop this loot off, we'll take a trip over to the Duke farm and have a look at the O.R.L. What in tarnation put you in here? Uncle Jesse, does the name Missy Law mean anything to you? Missy Law? That girl that nearly got you sent to girls' reform school? Yes! Only she's passing herself off as Melanie Shaw. The geology lady? Seems she's back in town for a little revenge. And it's got something to do with the mean green machine. What? The mean green machine? I thought that hunk of junk was out of commission. Not anymore. Boss Hogs had it rebuilt. If Missy's still harboring that grudge she's had to give you for turning her in, I suppose the mean green machine would be the Perfect vehicle for revenge. Yeah, revenge on Daisy, revenge on us, and, and revenge on all of Hazard County. And to think, there was a time when she was just like a, a sister to me. Missy and I were like two peas in a pod. When we were old enough to drive, we tore up the roads just as bad as Bo and Luke. Then, one day, Missy dared me to race her to the county line. Now, it turned out that these two good-looking men Missy was raving about were smuggling moonshine. And Missy decided the two of us should take it off of their hands and run it to the next county. They loaded up Missy's trunk, but I wouldn't let them load mine. And just about then, Roscoe and Sheriff Little from Chickasaw County showed up. I had to tell the truth about what happened, and it got them into a whole heap of trouble. And she's been waiting to get even with me ever since. I should have realized sooner that those geologists, Johnny Robb and Billy Ben, were the moonshine smugglers. Now don't you fret none, Daisy. That was a long time ago. Daisy, I sure am sorry to see you in there. You too, Bo. Luke. Oh, Ennis, you have to let us out so we can catch Missy before she does something awful with the Mean Green Machine. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, I can't do that. I took an oath, you know, as a lawman, but, but I brought y'all some lunch. Wait, wait, Bo, wait! Ah, Bo, Bo! With the boys and Daisy free to put a stop to Missy, Justice finally had a chance to prevail. Thanks to Uncle Jesse, of course. While Uncle Jesse put a cramp in Roscoe and Enos' pursuit, Daisy and the Duke boys got a call from Cooter. Ball sheep, Bo Peep, Grace Cooter coming at you. Hey, I think I found something y'all been looking for. Now, I don't know about you, but I do believe this qualifies as walking into a trap. The mean green machine? Oh, I'm going to throw the book at you dukes for sure. <coughs> yeah, you tell them, velvet ears. Yeah. I'd love to stay and blast you all to oblivion, but it's getting late. See you folks real soon.
If they've hit it underwater, there's no way we can catch them. Well, one thing's for sure. We ain't seen the last of the mean green machine. Or Missy La. The mean green machine's fast getaway made believers out of old Roscoe and Enos that there was more to Missy than just Melanie. As for Boss Hog and his promise of oil on Uncle Jesse's farm, well, y'all just hide and watch. That's probably the first time a can of motor oil could be called just desserts. After Missy and the mean green machine vanished, it came time for the 4th of July race at the new county fairgrounds. The general qualified and even set a new record to boot. All that was left to do was a final inspection by Cooter and his design. Am I seeing things? Or was that Missy Law's van? Swing back around, Bo. Let's get a closer look. The only kind of closer look I'd take involving Missy would require some serious firepower. Howdy, folks. Did you miss me? I missed you, but now I can say that I'm about to score a direct hit. All I can think of to say right now is what is referred to as by the skin of your teeth. And, of course, Missy was nowhere to be found. Fourth of July in Hazard County. It don't get more baseball, mom, and apple pie than this, folks. Or baseball, mom, apple pie, popcorn, and pretzels in Boss Hogg's case. Here you go, Flash. He's ready and raring to go, y'all. Everything looks top notch. What would we do without your support? Well, you'd probably finish last. Drivers, the race begins in one minute. Music to your ears, ain't it? You ready to do this, cuz? As always. Something tells me this party's just been crashed. It is my pleasure to announce the opening of the fantastic 4th of July race. Uh, uh gosh, how about letting Rush go say it this year, huh? Uh, say what? You know the words. You know, on your mark, get set, get... Oh, you mean, on your marks, get set, go! Yeet, that was more than naughty, that was just plain rude. Oh, I just never get tired of seeing that ten old man. Hey, that's Missy's car. Uncle Jesse, I gotta do something. Go and lose are just setting ducks out there. Roscoe? That's my mean green machine? Yeah, it is. It, it, it certainly is. Well, do something, you lunkhead. All right, Missy. If you're aiming to finish this, then let's finish it! Head for the rock quarry. I got an idea. Oh, my baby! My baby! Hey! Missy's getting away! Let's go after her. No, boys. Mm -hmm. This is between Missy and me. Look, I trust Daisy to catch her, but I don't trust Missy. Come on. Ross, 
go. Someone's gonna pay for ruining my baby. Enish, after them dukes and that crook Missy Law. And you, you thugs, you're under arrest. Ain't nothing like a good-looking woman with an effective right hook. Once Daisy gave Missy her walking paper, Hazard's finest showed up to take over. And as a consolation prize, Missy wound up getting a return ticket to the state pen. While Boss Hog was mourning the loss of his beloved Mean Green Machine, he also had the additional heartache of awarding the Duke boys the cash prize for winning first place in the 4th of July race. Of course, with the prize money, Bo and Luke were able to pay off a whole lot of Uncle Jesse's mortgage. And with the recovered bank money, Boss Hog had even more of a reason to count his blessings. Roscoe, of course, oh, still had flesh. Give Daddy a kiss. Ooh. You know, you you need some mouthwash. And even Enos comes out on top for a change. I guess it just goes to show that in Hazard County, life is full of surprises. But it wouldn't be Hazard any other way. Yeah! <laughs>